Light has dual properties. They behave either as a wave or as a stream of photons. But recently scientists have found that light can show superfluidity that too at a room temperature. This could turn out to be a groundbreaking discovery in solving the energy efficiency in electrical circuits as well as quantum computers. Superfluidity is the characteristic property of a fluid with zero viscosity which flows without any loss of kinetic energy. When stirred, a superfluid forms vortices that rotate indefinitely. Superfluidity occurs in two isotopes of helium when they are liquefied by cooling to cryogenic temperatures. The liquid helium in the superfluid phase shows some bizarre property. It can climb up the inside wall of a container and down on the outside until the container is empty. Liquid light can be categorized as a superfluid derived from the ability of particles to condense in a state known as a Bose-Einstein condensate. Bose-Einstein condensate is formed when a gas of bosons is cooled below a critical temperature. Under such conditions, a large fraction of bosons occupy the lowest quantum state at which microscopic quantum mechanical phenomena particularly wave function interference become apparent macroscopically. Liquid light can carry and conduct electric power, but it only exists for mere fractions of a second and in near absolute zero temperatures. However, a team of researchers in 2017 from Siena Nanotech in Italy has demonstrated that this is not always necessary. The researchers achieved room temperature liquid light by sandwiching an ultra-thin film made of organic material called TDEF between two highly reflective dielectric mirrors. This febriparat microcavity was further subjected to a 35 femtosecond laser blast. This intense light matter interaction led to a formation of a superfluid. So how does it work? The photons interact with electron hole pairs called excitons. These excitons impose a dipole moment which is combined with the dipole moment of electromagnetic field and they couple strongly. The final result is a polariton considered a quasi-particle composed of half light and half matter. They therefore act like atoms which can approach equilibrium due to their collisions with each other and can undergo Bose-Einstein condensation. Excitons are formed even at high temperatures in TDEF which results in the condensation of polaritons in room temperature. The researchers were able to observe the collective dynamics of the polaritons by making use of a very fast detection technique that can take one image about every 10 femtosecond. They found that the polaritons behave like a fluid that can flow without friction around obstacles. These obstacles were formed by using a laser to burn small holes in the organic material. The fact that such an effect has been observed under ambient conditions means that such condensate fluids can now be studied with tabletop experiments. This year, in another study, researchers have managed to observe how a Bose-Einstein condensate is formed in a semiconductor. They used world's thinnest semiconductor, which is the atomically thin crystal of molybdenum diselenide. This means that instead of electrons, an electrically neutral liquid light can run through the microcircuits of any electronic device. Polariton devices will make it possible to process immense data streams at speeds close to the speed of light. It can be a game changer for quantum computing also. Almost all quantum computers use processors under extremely cold temperatures that is near about minus 200 degrees Celsius. This is because heat tends to create errors in the qubits used in quantum computing. Liquefied light power has the potential to allow quantum computers to work at room temperature just like our laptops. I hope you liked this. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video and to see such videos in future, do subscribe.